even though they cover only 4% of New Jersey. Salt marshes provide food and habitat for the majority of the state's fishery species for at least part of their lives. Life here revolves around the tides. The water's constant ebb and flow has led to some unique adaptions in the species that call this habitat home. Take the male fiddler crab, easily recognizable by its oversized claw. During high tide, their burrows are fully submerged. But now that the water has receded, it's time to start the day. For fiddler crabs, eating is like breathing. An important behavior not only for the crabs, but also for maintaining the salt marsh's fragile nutrient balance. It's a daunting task for a single crab, but an entire community of hundreds or even thousands makes a very efficient cleanup crew. Fiddler crabs have very short fuses. Get too close to another male and things escalate quickly. This male attempts to scare his rival by looking as large as possible. When intimidation doesn't work, a fight ensues. Crabs size each other up by checking and shoving. If the other is deemed a worthy opponent, the instigator will lock claws to make his rival back down. The victorious male boasts with a dance, a warning to other rivals not to get too close. However, this show of power is not just for scaring opponents. It also attracts mates. Females can be identified by their two small claws, and this one is looking for a mate. She judges males based on their dance and claw size. The bigger the claw, the more attractive the mate. Seemingly shaking with nervousness, the male attempts to woo the female with a dance. He may have defeated his rival, but she is still not impressed. Although this male returns to his burrow alone today, he will always have another chance. Life in the salt marsh revolves around the water, and the tide will always recede again tomorrow. <laughs>